let's go. Hey guys, Jeremy Jack here to answer one simple question. Can you fry it? And on today's episode, we have here plain bagel, scallion cream cheese lox. One of my favorite things in the entire universe. And I'm going to batter and deep fry it and see if I can improve upon it. So what I have here is our dredging station. So we're just gonna go into flour first. And the flour is really just to get everything else to stick to it. And into the egg wash. Okay. And right into the panko. Want a good coat for a couple reasons. Obviously, a better coat, it's gonna taste a whole lot better. But if it's coated evenly and everywhere all over the bagel, it's actually gonna protect the bagel from soaking in too much of the oil. And what we're gonna do is back into the egg wash, double time. Here, and then one, one more time into the panko, and then into the deep fryer. Basically what we're trying to achieve is basically why you toast the bagel. You toast the bagel to get the cream cheese all nice and melted, and you toast it to get added texture. And we're gonna do that, but instead we're putting it into the deep fryer, because why the hell not? So we have our fryer here set at 350 degrees, a little bit of peanut oil, and we're gonna go right into it. Oh, yes. So we don't wanna cook it for too long. Uh, we just sort of wanna get it nice and brown on the outside. It's a bagel, it's already cooked. So you actually don't wanna to cook it too long, because you know, remember the locks aren't cooked, they're cured. You know, I guess the weirdest thing I ever had deep dried was Rocky Mountain oysters. Do you know what that is? So that is, they, they take the bowl, they take its cojones, and they slice it up, batter it, and then we eat it. And you know what? It's really freaking delicious, and if we didn't tell you it was bull testicle, you wouldn't know. Oh, I ate like a thousand of those things. I was like feeling like all like, like just like full of piss and vinegar afterwards, you know? I've never been more manly. <laughs> oh. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Let's give it a flip. Oh, God, it looks delicious. And I think we're there. So let's take it out of the oil. Oh God. Oh crap, look at that thing. Oh. I just hear the crunching and I know this is gonna be good. Holy crap. So right away, we already achieved what we wanted, which is that great texture on the outside and the inside, the cream cheese is nice and melted and the locks are still pink, they're not cooked through. One thing you need to do now is take a big old bite out of it. Here we go. <laughs> mm-hmm, oh my God. Mm. That's so delicious. <laughs> I have to say, I think I have a lot of brilliant ideas. This might be the greatest thing I've ever thought of. You have the creaminess of cream cheese, a little bit of the sourness from it, the saltiness of the lox, and then that amazing crunch you get from using the panko. This is pretty friggin' perfect. So I think I created a masterpiece. I'm pretty sure I improved upon label. But it doesn't really matter after. We're gonna go to the streets. We're gonna find someone to eat my bagel on camera and tell me if it's delicious or not. So when you say bagel, what comes to mind? What do you think? Uh, combination of all things good. Savory, crunchy, mm -hmm. soft, melty. Uh, yes, exactly, right? exactly. So it's pretty much perfect, right? <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. What if I told you that I deep fried bagel? You would make something perfect even better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I like my odds. So here, so here it is, oh, a deep fried bagel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's enormous. Okay. You don't have to go too crazy. Take a big old bite and then tell me if I improved upon the bagel or not. I'm looking for an entry point. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Oh my god. <laughs> you did it! I did it? <laughs> you nailed it. I did it. You nailed it. We have a winner. You did the whole thing! <laughs> yes. Boom!